Hey, hey, YouTube. Krundog here. I know I haven't made any videos in the past year, but to all zero of my followers, I uh, apologize. I got a bunch of physics toys in, some from the UK, and I figured I'd show them off. The first object here is uh, probably the most common one. It's just a simple mirage, and you'll see it looks like there's a little froggy sitting on top here. My finger goes right through them, because it's just a projected image up from a series of mirrors. The next object is called the Crookes radiometer. If you see up close, it's not a solar powered device. It's just little colored painted squares sitting on a, a needle in a almost vacuum. And as I put this up to the light, we should see it spinning. No one's quite sure how it works if you look on the Wikipedia explanation. I think it's probably just because no one cares enough, but oh, come on, it was spinning earlier. Oh, it's spinning a little bit. It's a fickle beast. So, next I'm going to show you a painting that I got, or a picture. It's called Moving Venice. Shout out to the portal gun. Moving Venice um, is called such because it appears like It follows you, follows your eyes, and not just in a silly Mona Lisa way, but see how as I move the angle, it looks like the buildings are moving back and forth. Pan slow. Works even pretty well up close, maybe because of the quality of the camera. What's really going on here is it's a version of the hollowed face delusion. It's poking out, but your brain has fixed perspectives um, so well recognized that it takes these indents as poking out portions. Yeah, that's the scientific high definition uh, version of the word, poking out portion. So the next one I'm going to show you is, let's see, see if this works. This is called a Mephesto spiral. And no matter how much you pull on it, they never come apart. Conversely, you could put it together forever, too. I hope that worked out, but we'll see. So, but the idea is it's just an optical illusion. These things are fixed, they're never moving. We probably figured that part out. It's just the way that it rotates gives the mind the illusion that they're coming together. Um, I got a set of dice. Um, to demonstrate this would be a little bit boring, actually. But if you see here, they're called non-transitive dice. And the best way to think of it, it's, it's almost like a rock-paper relationship. Where the red always beats the blue. The blue always beats the green. And the green always beats the red. So, this next one is called an Euler disc. I'll get it spinning and we'll see what happens. So right now it's just spinning like a coin. I hope the audio is coming in pretty well. It keeps spinning faster and faster and the pitch gets louder and louder. Well that guy's going, I'll explain my next object. The next object is a series of, um, of shapes that are constant diameter, but they're not spheres. And this is what it looks like. It's almost a like a pyramid where they rounded it and they rounded it in this dimension and they pulled and pinched out this dimension. Um, this guy's almost done, so let's capture the finish and then I'll go back to the object of constant width. It's actually rotating um, actually pretty slowly. Oh. Thunk. So, the effect is caused entirely by the rounding of the edges on this, and this is a pretty heavy device. Um, the mirror is just to give the sound as it bounces up and down, but if you can see, this is slightly concave. Let's see what's easier. You can see the distorted image. But also, if you go on the side, you can see it bends in a little bit. It just keeps the, um, since the disc goes for so long, 
if it had a slight velocity vector that way, it would just spin off and hit the floor. Let's see. So if you're incredulous, as you should be, about the objects of constant diameter, I'll show you that it will roll smoothly like a sphere would underneath this box. So, I don't know. I don't know how well this demonstration is going to going to look, but if you see how they all roll around in every direction, showing that the diameter is in fact the same everywhere, and the box is keeping a constant distance on top of the table. Alright, I'm doing this all on my flip video, so it might turn out crappy. They were so crappy, they, um, as soon as they were purchased, they went out of business. Let's see. The last one is just another iteration of the hollow face, and this is a giant Einstein. And the Einstein will similarly look like he's following me. It even works as you move up and down. Ooh, spooky. It's pretty wild, isn't it? But it's really, if you get up close, you can see it's just um, just another version of the hollow face illusion. People's brains so strongly want to interpret it as a 3D face poking out at you. So, let's see. I'm probably going to go running soon. I'll upload this video and no one will watch it, but those are the physics toys I got imported from the UK. I'll put a link in the description to the store that it was gotten at. Alright, see you dog out.